this is a message to parents and i don't know what parents are feeding children milk nowadays but the avian bird flu is back texas oklahoma ohio kansas you guys are experiencing the epidemic right now and the fact of the matter is this time it's not just birds going through it all kinds of animals are experiencing this bird flu check this out y'all the flu is back but it's showing up in different animals from goats on a western minnesota farm to dairy cows in several other states kaya edwards joins us now with what this means for farmers and consumers kaya Julie, we talked to the Minnesota Board of Animal Health, which joins agencies nationwide in following these bird flu livestock cases closely as they're believed to be the first in the U.S. U.S. health officials say raw, unpasteurized milk from dairy cattle in at least three states tested positive for avian flu, a virus usually found in birds, not livestock. Veterinarians are on really high alert. Dr. Katie Cornell is a senior veterinarian with the Minnesota Board of Animal Health. The virus that was detected, um, it wasn't a mutated form to cattle. It was the same virus that's been detected in wild birds. The same virus resulting in the death and mass slaughter of more than 246 million poultry worldwide from 2005 to 2020 and outbreaks resurging since then. The H5N1, that's the that's the one that's kind of been, you know, causing causing us all the all the trouble these these past years. Now in Texas, Kansas and New Mexico, officials say the bird flu was found in older cows and that symptoms include decreased lactation and low appetite. But Cornell says the experts are working to confirm if the virus caused their illnesses. This comes a week after goats on a western Minnesota farm were diagnosed following an outbreak among poultry on the farm. And at this point, there's there's really low concern from a consumer perspective. Farmers are required to only allow milk from healthy animals to enter the food supply. Those from sick ones are destroyed. Pasteurization of the milk you get in the store and commercial milk is extremely effective at inactivating viruses. Still, she says Minnesota farmers should take some basic biosecurity precautions. Um, when adding animals to your herd, making sure to, you know, quarantine them for 21 to 31 days before introducing them to the other animals just to make sure they don't get sick. What are they, humans? In late 20... What are they, humans? ...were reported in bears in Alaska, Nebraska, and Montana. And then this past December, it was also found in a polar bear. And that was the first time an Arctic animal died from the virus. Now, you and I both know that they did not get rid of those chickens. I guarantee you those chickens that were diagnosed with this virus were passed out. Because why is this still going around, y'all? Why is this? And then now other animals are catching it too. So maybe they're feeding these an these other animals this chicken. But it seems like their animals are tired of playing this game as well. This matrix is over. You guys see the mass deaths of animals going down, man. Like, it's, it's over. Like, they don't want to play this game either. The game is coming to an end. But like I said, I don't know what parents are feeding kids milk nowadays. But this is for y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all. Peace in.